Good morning, everybody. So um, I put up on my YouTube community page that um, I was changing the baby so that I could do an updated intro. And particularly, I just wanted to have some fun, change up the intro and do a Christmas one. I don't know how. All right. OK. I don't know how. Yes, 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 yes. OK, there you go. I don't know how that one is going to work out. But as you can see, I got Mr. Timothy with me this morning. We've just had breakfast. I've just got him changed into the one that Auntie Sheena gave us. And um, I'm going to show you all the babies. And um, today, I hope that's OK. And I also had a request just a little man just wants kisses all morning. <laughs> and um, I had a request for... Can you, don't stick your finger up my nose. I had a request for a video um, about toys for your Reborns. What toys? I'm not quite sure how, how to do that. But um, I did mes message the um, lady back and just say um, that I'm going to do a Tidy Up Tuesday and as you all know, I'm packing. So if you're new here, you don't know, but I am packing because we are moving um, in the new year at some point. And um, so I will be sorting out all the kids' toys and we're going to have a donate pile. That's the best way, is to give to kids less fortunate. And I'm sure a lot of people who think that I'm crazy will agree that that is a really good idea considering these are only dolls. But don't tell Timothy because he doesn't think that. He thinks he's a real boy. <laughs> like Pinocchio, eh? Hey? Okay, so I sorted out all of the Christmas decorations. They're all sorted out there. The big box is the tree. And I sorted all the decks and put them into these um, boxes that are really easy to store then when we get to the bungalow because before I had them all in various bags and in fact I think I've got a bag still here oh no I don't where did that bag go anyway oh it's there <laughs> there it is I had big bags like that stored in the loft with all the stuff in because it was because of our crazy stairs to get up to the loft it's easier than carrying a box to carry a bag so um, now I've sorted them all into the boxes. So that's all the decorations we've we've got in those totes. Yes, as Grumpy pointed out, there are some that don't fit, like Santa doesn't fit. And nor does... Oh, where's Mr. Rudolph? Mr. Rudolph was in here somewhere. Nor does Mr. Chunky Rudolph. <laughs> Mr. Overweight Rudolph. I don't think he's going to be able to fly anywhere this year. Here he is. Here's Mr. Overweight Rudolph. <laughs> Even his legs aren't resting on the floor. I think he's a bit of an overweight Rudolph. So um, there's Heidi. She's changed and ready. She's playing with a little snowman. So here was all the... Uh, I sorted out the clothes last week. If you've seen that on a Tidy Up Tuesday, you've seen me sort out this big bag of clothes. And I donated about half and kept about half. And... Um, yeah, so that's not bad either now. So that's be able to store nicely. I can put all the soft stuff in here. And um, this is where we've got like our bed and everything at the moment for our, our new bungalow and our new blinds. I think the struggle for me this morning is trying to find somewhere that is light enough so that the light is reflecting in. So I think I'm going to have to go near the doors, the cottage, because I can touch the ceilings in the cottage. Cottage is really, really low, and this is the original beam. Um, original beams are the crooked ones. Um, so, yeah, it's really low, and it doesn't give off a lot of light, because years ago the windows would have been small to save on um, the draft and things, so they would have had small windows, whereas today we're all about opening the windows up and looking at the view and having central heating. Well, of course, never used to have that. It would be small windows. And that is what this part of the bungalow has got. And also the sun rises that way, rises from this side and sets from that and sets down that side. So it is, um, it is quite a dark cottage. You need the lights on in the winter. Um, so I'm just thinking about somewhere I can put like a kind of like little little display all I'm going to do is take a photograph of them next to a tree <clears throat> and I've got the the tree that I used in their room last year um, <clears throat> excuse me 
I've only just took my allergy tablet, so it takes a while to kick in. I've got um, this small tree here, um, but it lights up. It's, um, oh gosh, what do you call them? Um, um, <laughs> fibre optic. That's it. It's a fibre optic tree. And if you, you'll see last year that I had it in the nursery. So I'm going to try and make a display over in that area by the um, window there whilst I'm also cooking up my breakfast. I'm having um, like a breakfast quiche, homemade breakfast quiche and baked beans this morning for my breakfast. Kids have all had theirs or I'm, or I'm sure Timothy probably wants some of my baked beans. Anyway, let's have a look and see if we can set something up here. So I've started to do a little bit of a setup. This is um, a tartan blanket that I've got that I got in Scotland. And I usually have draping over my pram because I don't like the um, sun on it. I don't want it to get any sun damage. There's a little tree. There's a Santa. And at the moment, we've got Oliver who's looking at the tree. So I've just got a few more things around. I'm just going to see how that looks in the in the viewfinder. He's not lied on this properly or anything yet. But if I see if I just do a picture from there, try not to get all the wall in. Um, it kind of would look okay. I'm kind of trying to, maybe if I could put something else up there to get the whole tree in, or maybe move the tree over a little bit. Hmm, baby needs to get in though, but the baby could come forward a little bit. So I've moved the tree forward a little bit, but you can still see the chair at the back. So I may have to move it over a little bit further if I want to. It's going to have to go there. But what I'm trying to do is get the reflection this side of the light. If I do it that way around, it's still pretty bright because I'm still doing it in the morning. But what I don't want then is the window. Yay, little man. You look cute down there, don't you? Hey, <laughs> he's like, what are you doing, Mum? You keep moving me around and around. Okay, I think I've cracked it for Oliver. So this is what I've done now. So I think this would be okay for the little ones. Just lie them on the front here and take some photos like that. But I do it portrait. So I like to be able to get more of the baby, more of the background in, I mean, but maybe I'll just do a portrait this time. Sorry, you had to switch your Rooney a little bit there. Maybe if I switch him back under there a little bit more, I can pull out a little bit more. But we really, what we're after is seeing the, the little bambino, aren't we? That's what we're after, everybody. Seeing the little bambino, look at his little, he's got the little Father Christmas booties on. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Take a photo. What do you think, aunties? Do you think there should be something like above that tree in front of him? I don't know. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm just taking lots of photos so I can look at them while I'm eating my breakfast and decide. There we go. Found that Merry Christmas thing. Hopefully that'll kind of look alright. I have took a photo in close. It kind of looks alright. So we want everything in there. And I can shorten the sides in the photograph when I edit the photograph. <laughs> What's he doing lying on top of you? I don't want him lying on top of me. He'll get a bit heavy, won't he, mate? He'll get a bit heavy for you. And I'm going to do this process for all of them and we'll see what we come up with. Oh, okay, Auntie. Timothy reckons he's next. So we're going to move Oliver and somehow. Get Timothy a photo in there. He's already got, he wants to hold the sock monkey. It's not your first Christmas here, is it, really? But you, it's your first sock monkey. <laughs> Mr. Timothy. He's by the tree, aren't you, Timothy? I think we need to turn him around a bit so you look at mum, okay? And there we go. It's Timothy's. Let's turn this around so it says Merry Christmas. There we go. I think we'll get that one in all right, Timothy. Yay! Good boy! Yes, you are, 
Oh, you're a good boy. Thank you. You can go and play now. Well, you want to stay and watch the others. All right. So riding on this crazy reindeer that needs to go on a diet before Santa comes. No fat shaming here. It's just he won't be able to fly. <laughs> he won't do his job. Look. It's three all up in the air, aren't they, Annie? Hey. Three are all up in the air. Yes, they are. <laughs> so once you've got the backdrop, so that this is just my house, so my socks are on the floor, look. Millie's electric blanket cable. Emma Jane's up there patiently waiting for her turn. You know, you've just got to, you haven't got to, just try to, in one little area, just make a little display. And then you can just take photos. So anything you've got that is a bit Christmassy, just try and take a photo. And then see if you can edit your photos when you're done, because I can edit that side out of the f in the photo. And I could edit the top out where you can see the chair there. But um, that's all that I'm going to do. <laughs> you look so cute. You're going to ride Rudolph. Not quite sure how we're going to do Emma, Jane, because she's as big as a Christmas tree. <laughs> so I put on Emma Jane the... Um, jacket it was 12 to 18 months that I found in the bag with the Rudolph face on so I'm gonna have to I can't even go back much further because right behind me is um, a bit of a wall and then the TV I can push the TV back a little bit but um she wants to hold Rudolph she's like in awe of Rudolph and this is her first Christmas with us Okay, so now it's Frankie's turn. So she is sitting down um, on a pillow. Oh, she's got unicorn slippers on, so we're not going to show that bit. <laughs> she didn't want to put any other ones on. And Frankie actually wanted to wear this dress, so this is not what she'd be wearing for Christmas. But um, it's got red in it, hasn't it, Frankie? Frankie likes it. She put on the elf um, headband and she is holding our Goofy who comes from Disney Disneyland at um, one of my daughters bought back for me with his he's got how in, in his light in his he's got a Christmas jumper on with lights and they actually light up but um, I need to change the battery because it doesn't last for very long Frankie does it hey Frankie's also got the nativity book next to her because she wants to remind everybody that that's the most important thing at Christmas is the birth of Jesus and um, there we go Frankie that's your go okay now it's Mr Harry's turn so he is quite low down isn't he look at him He's got on this little short dungarees and they have um, Buckingham Palace soldiers on and uh, they're very British. And yeah, he's the only one with a dummy. He looks so cute in that. In the shoes he's got on are vintage. They're like 1980s and little pom-pom socks which Auntie Sheena will laugh about because she knows how much I hate putting long socks on my babies, especially the boys. Well, the boys, anyway. But I know it's traditional. But now I'm just going to try and position him around so that I can take a photo. Um, because he's quite low down there. Just to move him along a bit. Yes, thank you, mister. That's my washing machine telling me that it's ready um i just dropped a present oh well never mind i do feel there's something missing harry i do i feel like there's something missing let me take a photo of you behind there let me just push it all up a little bit because there we go there we go maybe that'll be a, bit, a little bit better And I only do this on my phone, guys. I don't have a... I'm sure you can tell. I don't have a posh camera. I did have one, but I sold it because it's just 
things are too complicated sometimes for me to manage and it gives me more anxiety than I actually need because it doesn't matter what sort of camera I have you know it's just I've got a wowie phone a wowie and uh it's the camera is great also before I had this I had it before I had wowie I had galaxy and I love the phones on the galaxy no not the yeah, samsung yeah samsung um, I love the camera on them. And then just before I went to Canada, I broke my phone. And Ross would only let me have a cheap one because I've always broken my phones, dropping them. And it um, doesn't matter what cases I've got on them as well. They always drop on those stupid corners and they smash. And so he bought me a cheap one and it was a Huawei. And I've had an, a Huawei ever since because I really like the phone. And if I don't drop them in the hot tub... They're quite durable. <laughs> anyway, there's Harry. So we've only got Heidi left. There she is. And I put her on this um, all-in-one baby grow that I kept, calf kits and one. It's actually three to six months, but it fits her really well. It's just a little bit baggy around the top, but in the legs and everything, it fits her really well. She does have a vest on underneath. And I have put a cardigan on and I don't know whether to take it off or not. But this little girl is a cold baby. So, um, whereas Harry's like a little hottie. Gets hot really easily. Heidi feels the cold more. Don't you, babes? Hey. And you've got a bit, bit of fluff in your hair. Yeah, but isn't it cute with all the little cute designs on it? Excuse me. <coughs> I love the little uh, Santa and the little reindeers. It's like an old-fashioned like winter Christmas scene. Really love it. So I think I'll just keep it on for now while I just do a video. And she's grasping for the toys. You want these, don't you? Hey, you want toys? You want toys? Let's see. You've got a reindeer. Do you want to have a reindeer? You want to have a reindeer? So you might all be saying, "Hey, hang on, Caroline. You've got Josie." There's a tree. I think I bought these last year, didn't I, Sheena? If Sheena's watching, I think I bought these last year um, from Dunelm, where I got the duvet cover cheap from and the pillowcase that we're going to give to Russ cheap from. Um, I'm sure we did. Oh my gosh, we got Robin Redbreast. Look, it's a little Robin Redbreast. Wait till Annie sees that because Annie absolutely loves birds. Um, Yes, yeah, so you might be saying, um, uh, hang on, Caroline, you've forgotten the baby. It's a baby bear. Look, it's a bear. Polar bear. This bag is like full of little kids' ones. They don't squeak. They're just, I think they were like bath toys. I think that's what they were advertised as. Gingerbread man, penguin. Got to have a Santa in here somewhere. Yeah, there's Santa. That's the Santa I like. Yeah, the jolly, 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 jolly Santa. Don't worry, I'm not going to put them all on her. <laughs> One thing that we might not get this year is snow. There's a snowman. Get all of them, Heidi. Say, I don't want all of them on me, but I like this one, Mom. I like this one. <laughs> Look at her with all the toys. Hey, you got all them toys. You cheeky, you cheeky girl. Yes, you are. Right, yes, I'm digressing, aren't I? So you might be saying to me, uh, Caroline, what about um, Josie? Josie has been, has now has a new mummy. So um, somebody watched my video and I don't know if they saw my Instagram post. I don't think she saw my Instagram post, but she definitely saw my video and she messaged me. And asked me if she could buy her. And I've sold to her before. She is as um, an old friend. Um, I haven't seen her for years. But I have sold a baby to her before. There's Robin Redbreast. Look. We haven't decorated this tree at all. We the, This is the kids tree. So they've got a few things to go on it. Um, shall I give you those there? I think I'm going to. I think I think I need to keep a cardigan on. I'm I'm sorry aunties. If that's not aesthetically pleasing to you. But um. This baby feels a cold. Hey, you feel the cold, don't you, little one? Yeah. Give you your Santa and your thing. Yeah, so she messaged me and I was like, yeah, okay. 
I didn't have any qualms about it at all, which means that it's the right thing for me to do. And who knows what Santa will bring, hey? Ho, 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 ho. Right, well, I'm going to have to move you over a bit because your legs are just coming out. Oh, that might be all right. If I go like that, that might be all right. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get photos of her. And there we go, finishing where we started off with Mr. Timothy. Don't want them in my face. Thank you. So, um, so, so, so. I think you should count how many times I say so in one video. <laughs> like my catchphrase I should have only that said so um anyway <laughs> that is now I'm gonna build that up into a new intro which is usually about a minute long and um I hope you enjoyed watching the little process yeah mm. the hair looks curly today in the video doesn't it can you see yourself there can you see yourself the face looks yeah, there you go. <laughs> Your hair looks curly. Mum's hair looks crazy. It's still very, very itchy. So I'm trying to hold off sh giving it a shave, but I'm sure I'm going to have to because it is really itchy. And my face is so dry. No matter how much moisturiser in that I put on it. Ugh, never mind. Allergies. But who, you know, this is life. Fibro. No, not fibro. Thyroid issues are doing that. Anyway, yes, that's Heidi down there. Yep, she has got toys. So Timothy wants to go and play with the toys that Heidi's got. So we're going to say here, bye here. Bye. Have a good rest of the week.